welcome back friends uh, this session is creating and using databases and uh, uh, this is a comparatively small session uh, we have uh, one command which is create database command now the command used to create a database is uh, create database and the syntax is uh, create optional uh, you know that syntax wise uh, if we give anything in square bracket that means that is optional so create in memory is optional temporary database is a temporary uh, optional keyword and database is a reserve word which is mandatory compulsory and database name now this is first part that what is required is on device log where the log are to be placed use database name as a template if you have some template like model database is our template so you can specify model as template on the location of the device which is logical device uh, which we have understood how to create in the previous session so on logical device name the size and uh, this is a comma separated list which tells that you can have multiple devices specified to store the database so you can have uh, if you have five partitions you want to specify all partitions to uh, store the database you can specify all these devices which also means that when you want to grow uh, the size of the database and you want to add a disk to the database existing disk that can be straight away added with the same command no other changes are required you simply add the device name so you simply say uh, uh, alter database or create database name and use device name on the on this device which i'll talk about later on right now uh, you can specify multiple device names log on the log devices uh, same way the first is the first on uh, keyword says the device for the database storage second log on specifies the logs uh, location and with dbid if you want to specify that default location is default location and uh, durability uh, no recovery shutdown options and i'll talk about these options now in coming up slides the important parameters so important parameters are temporary the first parameter you see uh, you could see that indicates that you are creating a temporary database okay in memory means required for in memory databases then database name is the name of the new database which you are creating on means indicate the location and the size of the database you can specify multiple locations default indicates the default device uh, indicate that create database can put the new databases on uh, any default database devices as shown in the sys devices dot status we know that we are we are creating that a default database to specify a size for the database without specifying a location we can use on default means the way we created the device in the earlier session if we have added some devices to the pool of devices that can be specified here so we can skip the parameter on part so on default size is equal to this to change the database device status to default you can use sp uh, underscore disk default which i explained in the previous session database device is the logical name of the device which we learned in the previous session on which to locate the database the database can occupy different amount of space on each of the several database devices as i was explaining size the amount of space to allocate to the database expansion and log on means specify the logical name of the device for the database logs restrictions uh, adaptive server can manage as many as 32767 databases i have a question here in fact before i continue why this 32767 number why not 33 why not 32 I want that and I will not continue uh, till you reply to this question. Who want to answer this question? Why this odd figure of 32,767? Anybody is free to answer? Okay. Okay. Don't waste time. Uh, if uh, you are not sure, say it. I will explain that. Very interesting fact. Okay, uh, Bomi, any any input from your side? No. 
So uh, listen this carefully, my friends. Uh, this thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-seven. This number is basically uh, integer type data, which is used to store the this particular number. That means the number of databases is stored in a integer type number, which you know that it takes two bytes. And out of two bytes, so one byte is reserved for sign, and what is left is fifteen bytes. Uh, 15 bits, sorry, 15 bits. Now, if we use 15 bits to store the data, the maximum value which will come out to be is a 2 raised to the power 15, which is 32,768. Now, if we start counting from zero, the last number will be 32,767. So, it is simply the data type where this number is stored, uh, the number of databases. Uh, in the programming, because ultimately it is developed in C and C plus plus. So wherever we talk about such limitations, they will directly come from the limitations of the data types used in C language. Please remember that. Okay. Same way, the DB ID, database ID, should always be greater than zero and less than the maximum da database ID of thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-seven. Adaptive server can create only one database at a time. If two databases uh, creation uh, requests collide, one user sees this message: "Model database in use cannot create new databases." That means if you are using, working in a multi-user environment, and multiple users are trying to create the database at the same time using the model database uh, as a model, so one request will be completed and other user will get this error message. So he has to wait till the one request completes. To get information about databases, uh, we can use uh, sp underscore help db, and uh, for uh, reports on the space used in the database, you can use sp underscore space used. My friend, I've been uh, uh, throughout using stored procedures, and uh, these stored procedures are very crucial and uh, are a helping tool available from Sybase side. We can use these uh, 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 stored procedures for our uh, own purpose. Therefore, it is highly advisable that you practice all these stored procedures. Now, examples: create a database named pubs10. So, simple command: no other change. Create database pubs10. That's it. So, where it will be created on a default de default device? What will be the size? Default size. Okay. Create a 4 MB database named pubs11. Create database pubs11 on default is equal to 4. Okay. So, if you do not provide A unit specifier for size. The value provided for pubs is presumed to be in megabytes. Okay, changing database ownership. Now this is a, a a little tricky situation. You cannot directly change the ownership. You have to be careful when you are changing the ownership of a database. You can use this uh, stored procedure to change the ownership, but then there are some precautions which you have to be careful. Changing permission, uh, changing ownership is not big deal itself, but then the repercussions and prerequisites are a little crucial. So therefore, uh, you should be careful before you change the ownership of a database. You can use sp underscore change db owner to change the ownership of a database. System administrators create the uh, uh, the user databases and then give ownership to another user. This is what the general process is. The Sybase, uh, the Sybase suggests that you transfer ownership before the user has been added to the database. Therefore, and before the user has begin creating objects in the database. So, before actually you add a user to the database, you transfer the ownership. The new user must already have a login name. So, therefore, look at the sequence. Sequence is first you need to create a login. Then you must change the ownership, and then the user must be added to the database. This is the sequence, three-step sequence. Now, sequence one, create the login. Step number two, change the ownership. Step number three, uh, three, change, uh, uh, add that user to the database. Okay, the you new owner must already have a login name on adaptive server, but cannot be a user of the database. That is what. So therefore. The login name must be added first, or have an alias in the database. So that user, which you are trying to add, should not be a user of the database. Point number one. 
should not have alias in the database this is point number two so first you must add a login name then you change the ownership and then you add that user as the user of the database this is a very tricky situation okay you may have to use sp underscore drop user or sp underscore drop alias before you can change the database ownership and you may have to drop objects before you can drop the user so you cannot drop a user directly you have to drop the objects which are owned by that user before you actually drop that user itself the syntax is quite simple sp changer db owner space login name true now this optional word true i'll discuss this example makes uh, albert as owner of the current database and drops aliases of users who could act as the old dbo so sp underscore db a uh, change db owner albert that's it db change owner it changes the owner of the user database which i was discussing syntax is this now the login name is login name of the new owner of the current database true transfer the alias and user their permissions to the new database owner the value are true and true so you can use either in caps or in small both are acceptable okay this is changing the ownership look at this example make the user albert the owner of the current database so simply sp underscore change db owner albert important points about changing the ownership the new owner must not must not already be known as either a user or alias that is the new user must not already be listed in the sys user or sys alternates for the current database executing with a single parameter that is login name changes the database ownership to login name and drop aliases of users who could act as the old dbu after executing the new owner is known as the database owner inside the database it cannot transfer ownership of the system database so you cannot uh, transfer the ownership of the system databases which are owned by the sa user and system administrator the new owner must already have a login name in the adaptive server but must not have a database user name or alias name in the database to assign database ownership to such a user drop the username or alias entry before executing sp underscore change db owner a system administrator must grant permissions to the database owner since the user is no longer known inside the database under the any other name so therefore uh, the ownership uh, that's uh, permissions must be granted separately after changing the ownership that is the most crucial extended uh, you can extend the database first you have to extend the disk space allocated by the database server this is done by the disk init command for example to use master go disk init name is of the device physical name as i have discussed in the previous session next you have to alter the database so that uh, database makes use of the new space so alter database database name on that's it so you simply specify the device name with the size and you will be able to manually extend the database so repeat manual extending space is as simple as first adding a device and second specifying the device in the alter database command so alter database when you say on clause with the device name and the size will add on this device to this particular database this is how you can extend the size of the database and that uh, the last slide is as the second last increasing master device space you can use help device master will go and you'll understand the space you can see the details to expand the database uh, master database on master device by 10 mb simply do the following alter database master on master is equal to 10 that's it what does it mean this logical device name is master and what is expected here is the logical device have enough space uh, or enough room before you add 2 m uh, 10 mb from that existing space okay because you may have a device which may have 100 mb space but while defining the database while creating the database you may allocate only 10 mb or 50 mb out of 100 so then you can extend that uh, 10 mb or 50 mb uh, one by one or step by step by using this alter database command 
this is manual step my friend we have a separate session on automatic extension or automatic expansion of the disk storage which is advisable because we never know when the database will be exhausted space will be exhausted therefore what is required in real life is automatic expansion of the space extended database by 100 uh, 1280 pages 10 uh, uh, mb on the disk master this is the command which can be used dropping a database use drop database command to remove a database from sql server uh, when you run this command it will free the storage space allocated to the database it delete references to it from the system tables in the master database only the database owner can drop a database no other person no, and you must be in the master database to drop a database that means you cannot cut a branch on which is sitting when you are talking about a tree so therefore if you are sitting in a database or working in a database you cannot drop the same database so therefore to drop a database you must be in the master you cannot drop a database that is open for reading or write uh, writing by a user syntax is simple drop database database name and you can drop multiple databases okay you must drop all the databases uh, using drop database new pubs and new db you can specify this is a simple command okay so before dropping a device you must drop the databases from that device and the command to drop a device is sp underscore drop device okay this is what all about the creation of databases and working with the databases very simple straightforward session i believe the simplest possible thank you so much uh, for this